Hi, this is Tyler from Bedford Car Sales. Just gonna do a quick walk around video of our Mercedes CL500 Coupe 5.5 litre. So starting off at the front of the vehicle, obviously as you can see, a lovely grey finish to the car with the chrome detail on the front and the badging. So we'll move quickly around to the driver's side. As you can see, the car is in pretty much immaculate condition. With regards to the alloys on the wheels, we've advertised it at a price, which means that the customer who eventually buys the vehicle will be able to choose what alloys they would like on it, as they will be fully refurbished. Moving down the driver's side, I'll show you now the soft closed doors. So you see, as you can see, the door closed, the window goes up, and it does as well on the back. Show the alloys here as well. On the rear of the driver's side, and we move around to the back of the vehicle. And then we'll move on to the passenger side rear wheel. passenger side front wheel as well. So that's an exterior view of the car. We're now going to do the interior view. So starting off with the boot of the vehicle, the clasp itself, just underneath the badge. Lift it up there. As you can see, nice big boot space. Underneath, you've got this little catch here with some extra storage space under there as well. You have storage space on either side, so on the left there, and on the right with a power outlet in the back as well. And the boot on this one closes by a button just up here, as you can see. And the boot itself closes electronically. And that's the boot of the vehicle. So moving on into the interior of the vehicle now, I'm just inside the driver's side. Start the vehicle, twist the key in the slot, foot on the brake, and the car will start. You've got the electronic seat controls there, the heated seats and the blower seats, central locking controls, the electronic wing mirror controls, which will move in and out. Now, and you've got electronic windows and all four there you've got your parking brake just down there with the automatic headlights there and the parking lights as well you've got your steering wheel controls which has a volume control on the phone on one side with the Bluetooth you've got your menu buttons on one side with the back button just underneath obviously from the main dash move into the main screen which has a navi setting on at the moment you can change these settings just on here You've got obviously the disc and the radio, the telephone and the navi, and then an extra seat control there, which can be controlled by the main screen as well. You've got the on button, the volume button, and mute button on one side, and the main button on the other side, which is the sport, comfort, and manual mode. The manual mode obviously brings in the flappy paddle. And then obviously on this side as well, you've got the indicator and the windscreen washers. Then on the center as well, you've got the telephone remote. You've got the remote control system, which will obviously move it at the bottom. Then on the center, the extra storage compartment, so you can open the top this side, the top button, and the top button on the other side will open it to the passenger. And if you press the bottom button on the passenger side and the bottom button on the drivers, it will open, open up an extra storage compartment in the middle. Obviously, you've got all the seating controls on the other side as well. And then if I just put the car into reverse, you'll be able to see that the reversing camera on the boot also comes up. Now also moving on in the middle, just a bit of extra. Obviously you've got the blower controls there. You've also got your radio presets just in this compartment. Then just in here, you've got your cigarette lighter and your ashtray, as well as two cup holders in the front as well. 
and that is the interior of the front of the vehicle i wanted to show you the sunroof now as well so you've got the little manual sunroof cover there if you pull that open you can slide it all the way back just up here obviously you've got all the lighting controls for both sides you've got the sunroof controls just there if i pull it back the sunroof will open all the way back to the sunroof cover and if i pull it forward the sunroof will close back over and then like i said it's a manual sunroof cover so if you pull that into position it'll cover over the sunroof and that's the interior of the vehicle so this has been a quick walk around video of our mercedes cl 500 coupe five and a half litre it comes with a six month standard rec warranty with extended packages available up to three years it also comes with a 12 month mot it has recently been serviced by us and also we can do free nationwide delivery with this vehicle